Midpoint is called Sky Tower Mid. That's that's literally the name. Well, um, and apparently we've been on 32 adventures. Um, not quite sure what it counts as adventures, but hello. Um, this is a uh, Blue Rescue Team. Uh, the finale of the story. Um, if you hear the mic, it sounds kind of different. Um, I think I finally figured out a good position to put me and the mic in. Or the mic and I, sorry. Or wait, to put... Sorry, the mic and myself in. Um, um, good thing I waited till the finale to do that. Well, actually, no, because then it's fitting, right? Um, the finale is the best, so... Let's try to position these guys in a good way for that made a gross to exist. Oh wait, oh wait, a bite is also strong against it, so not in a you know. Um, oh sorry, no, no, that's uh, I'm thinking like sixth gen and up. Well, uh, positioning him to use that ember uh, more efficiently and that made a gross didn't pay off, but oh well. So sorry, getting to the actual dungeon now. Um, this is a uh, Sky Tower Summit. Um, not yeah, not not sure this looks like a, a summit to me, but oh well. Because uh, when I think of the summit, I think of the top part, like the very top. But whatever, it's it's close. So we don't have any monster houses, but we do have uh, you know quite a bit. Um, we we have quite a large density of monsters. Um, and the, the layout's pretty complicated, I'll say. And look, don't, don't, try matter, this is not the time to be getting lost. This is not a place we want you to get lost in. Although, no, nothing is, but especially not here. But, uh, we're starting to really get into, like, the parts where they cram a lot of, uh, you know, like, we have a lot of hallways now, and the room's getting smaller, so they can cram more, uh, space in each uh, floor, effectively. Um, in fact, in one of the outtakes, well, not outtakes, but, you know, in one of the, vi in one of my uh, failed takes here, my, um, I actually got so long that uh, there's a new mechanic that comes up that I have yet to discuss, so this is probably the place to do it. Um, if you stay too long on a floor in order to discourage grinding, it's called wind, and it will just kick you out. Now, it's 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 a really very, very lenient time limit, um, basically, unless you're, you know, uh, having a ton of trouble. Um, you know, it's not going to be an issue, really, for you. I don't know exactly how it is, but if you hear a, something that says, like, a, you know, you can hear something on this floor, or, like, some other random message like that, um... That is probably what is happening. How are you using Whirlwind again? That is not a multi-hitting move. But yeah, long story short, you can only spend so much time on the floor. So, um... And we're starting to get a relatively uh, more complicated uh, floor work. Ah, meant to, meant to set Thunderbolt again, because it was previously uh, set to slam and... Why are you getting lost so often, Charmander? This isn't... That's not a problem I've usually had. Now Absol's getting lost. Oh boy. Um, that guy actually does have some uh, problematic attacks. And he has pressure as an ability, so... That's not... That's not fun. So yeah, we're on floor two, two out of nine. That's, uh, not a good sign of things to come, is it? So now that we're nearing the end of the game, I guess we'll talk, um... Well, I guess we'll talk the LP in general. Uh, you see, um, not sure if I want to do the after game right now, but I'll get, um, because I might want to move on to the sequels, uh... But, um, the good news is I do intend to, uh, well, maybe it's bad news for you, but, um, <laughs> maybe you consider it bad news, but the good news is I do, in I do intend to stick with the style. Um, I'm actually not certain if I want to continue doing, uh, text LPs, but, you know, so it's a possibility. 
Ugh, uh, uh, that's not good. But yeah, sorry, what I was saying earlier, um, the, the text LPs are a definite maybe, not sure, because I'm not sure if it's really that good of a format. It's kind of difficult, like, you know, it's pretty time-consuming for, like, the little bit of commentary I have in there. Um, the only person who I've successfully known who's done something similar is Pink Kitty Rose, which I don't even know much about them, so, you know. What? Claydol, why are you using confusion from that distance? It's not gonna work. Um, also, what is... Oh, oh, you don't remember, right? I thought he ran out for a second, I was, I was worried. Not, not that I needed it, because, uh... Just took him out anyway. Yeah, Pinkity Rose does some. I haven't looked into, into how she does it too extensively, so... Um... That, that's gonna be a definite maybe. Maybe, I mean, it could just be something I need to practice at, but, like, as of now, I've written... I've written, uh, the text for, like, you know, parts, uh, like, you know, I'll say up to, like, uh, uh, up to Lapis Cave. Actually, I don't, I'm not sure that works out in episode numbers, but, um, well, actually, sorry, up to, uh, Mount, sorry, no, no, I did one for up to Articuno, um, well, sorry, Lapis Cave, um, I've done, like, some, you know, verbose kind of stuff, but, um, also, if we... Sometimes they walk off screen now, especially now that uh, we're getting a little bit more complex in terms of the stuff you can find here. Alright, Absol should, uh, if I give him Bite again, he should have uh, a fighting chance. But um, it doesn't, I, I, I'm not sure if there's enough text in it really, like I, I find later on it's kind of difficult to say, you know, find stuff to say, whereas you know, in an LP, I'm constantly thinking of stuff to say, so, um... It's, it's I, I don't know why, it's just kind of... Partially because, you know, saying stuff takes longer than, uh, you know, reading something. But I mean, like, the amount of commentary so far in the dungeons, compare that to the amount of text that, that might be there. I mean, I might put more in, like, when you're seeing this to when, you know, I'm making it, but even so, I'm, I'm not really... Oh, boy! Okay, did you use, like, a, a slowing move on me or something? <laughs> wow, the one dungeon, one of the few dungeons with, like, a cloudy status, you try to use self-destruct in. Oh, my goodness, that is... Uh... Now, I'm not talking about using a Rider Seed because we have two, and well, it's, you know, it's the final boss we're up against, but oh well, it's. Might as well give it a try, I mean. Actually, wait, the stairs are down there. Oh, no, no, never mind. They're both Wonder Tiles. Do you have Ember, is the question. Okay, good, you don't. Or, or, or you didn't think to use it, rather. Flygons don't take too many hits to take down. Now, I'm not sure at the level the uh, final boss is at, but um, it's considerable, I'll say. It's actually not quite as bad, you know, proportionate to the level that you're at as, uh, you know, the Legendary Birds, honestly. But, um, well, then again, I've been doing pretty good with Legendary Birds this run, and uh, I've needed a couple runs of this specific boss, so... It has pretty high defense, you know, it, it, it takes hardly any damage. It doesn't have, like, you know, an attack that uh, hurts me greatly, but, you know, it has considerable stuff. <sighs> like, like it, it, it takes tons of hits, um, pretty high defenses and whatnot. And, uh, I believe these is, this is the last stairs. Well, this is the last, uh, stairs in the story, so let's see. Info. Stairs leading to the next floor. If you're on the final floor, you will escape from the dungeon. Oh, I wish. Because, <laughs> uh, 
Well, okay, okay, that's not the final floor then. This is the final floor. Is this the top floor? Who goes there? Who dare to trespass upon my airspace? That voice. Could it be Rayquaza? Indeed I am. The sky's my domain. Depart at once! But we don't have any time to argue. We came here because we need your help. Never! Wah! I'm a being of the sky, and you are but denizens of the ground. To each there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of millions of years, never once have I descended to the ground. And the opposite shall also hold true. Let there be no mercy for those that defy the laws of nature. Prepare for the end! Now, um, I said earlier that he doesn't have a very hard-hitting move. I'm not entirely correct. He has Dragon Dance. Now, why do I tell you that? Because we might... If we're lucky, we might not get to show that. <laughs> um, first one thing, I'm going to see if throwing a Sleep Seed can buy us uh, some time. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to have Absol use Taunt, which, uh, you know, pretty pretty uh, good attentiveness of them to mandatorily give you a Pokemon with Taunt, because um, that is a pretty, uh, you know, dire move to have. And uh, Taunt, as I said, prevents an all non-damaging moves from happening, so... God. Let's hope it uses Taunt. Okay, good. Oh boy, that's pretty, looks pretty damaging. So now actually Charmander, you will use Scary Face, because uh, slowing this guy down is going to be really important. Yes! Okay. Okay, no, no. What we're going to have you do... I should have had you use Swords Dance before, because uh, that might help a bit. Um... Oh god, okay. Now, does that reset Absol's stat boosts? Come to think? Hmm. Oh, well, might as well just have him use it, uh, just in case. Now... Actually, no, Ember, because I've... Well, I mean... Now, may now maybe we'll try- Yes! Good! Okay. And we're actually gonna wait a few turns for Absol to use, uh, you know, Swords Dance, because, um, I mean, at opposite low levels, it's not really, you know, without stat boost, it's not gonna do much, but, uh, with a few, it might, you know, with exponential growth, we might have a winner. I do not like uh, having to consume a Max Elixir during this fight. But it looks like I'm gonna have to. Wrong one. Actually, so will Charmander. <laughs> well, it's the final battle. We, we won't have, you know, something this necessary to use it on for quite a while now, so... Maybe I'll try to get Thunder Wave on you. Okay, and yeah, well, I uh, I need to I need to pick one and stick with it. I can't have him use Scary Face and Thunder Wave at the same time. It's got to be one or the other. Oh well, it's a uh, back. Did I um? Oh yeah, sorry. Ah, uh, you're the one who I intended to throw the Max Elixir at. So let's give you back Ember. I yep. Why did I know that was gonna happen? Why did I foresee that? And also, you are no longer under the effect of Taunt, so, uh, in, in the interest of not having you use Dragon Dance, you'd better, you know. So, um, other than that, not much we can do. Um, he takes neutral damage. Okay, good! Wow! Gwarah! 
So, um, basically, uh, because of the ghost types and the taunt, make sure you take Absol with you, and he survives to this point. Gah! I should have given that advice earlier, but oh well, better late than never, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? An earthquake? It's not possible! We're on top of the clouds! Those are shockwaves, and they're huge! That's it, I got it! Look, straight up, Rayquaza! What is that? It's a shooting star, and it's enormous! It will destroy the world if it continues on its path. Looks more like a comet to me, but... That's why we came, Rayquaza! Please, destroy the falling star! So that is why. Yes, please hurry and destroy it! Before I try, I need to know your resolve. Come on, dude! This is not the t The star has come too close. If I were to lose to lose my or lose my hyper beam here. You would not escape unscathed. So, we escaped from that star. We accepted that from the start. Well said. Take charge of your destiny. Ah! Is this a dream? No. This is no dream. Yes. The star's explosion swallowed me. I'm now adrift. As a spirit. <laughs> well, um, that's certainly edgy of me to assume. What's going to happen? That shadow. Gengar. Ha! <laughs> Evan! Didn't take much to put you down. Serves you right. <laughs> now what to do with you? I know! I'll drag you into the dark world! That'll do it! Gengar is dragging me. Gengar said he would drag me into the dark world. What is the dark world? Am, am I going to be an abandoned in a world I don't know? Well, not like we ever had to deal with that problem before. <laughs> huh? Darn it, I took the wrong path. What? This isn't like me. I, I can't tell which way is which. <laughs> to heck with this. I'll just ditch you here. That's it, goodbye to you. Well, that was random. Hey. Hey, can you hear? Step out of it! Huh? This place. Urgh. Regain consciousness! Ow! Well, that's a weird onomatopoeia to use. I'm sure of it. I'm sure back there. Gengar saved me. Maybe. Did Gengar save Evan too? Awesome! You're alive! You really had all of us worried! Also, does that mean that this world is the dark world? You are incredible. I'm so glad you're safe! It's fantastic! Everyone, thank you. But, what about the star? What happened to it? Fear not, the star is no more. Though it will not be right away. The disasters shall soon be calmed. What about our team member? Uh, where's Absol? Be calm. Absol is safe. Well, does that... Really? We did it, Evan! Everything worked! We won peace! I have to wonder if that still shows if uh, you don't bring a team member with you. Because I haven't seen that, actually. Or I don't remember seeing it, rather. Ever. Yippee! This is the greatest! This calls for a celebration. Let me shoot my hydro pump to kick it off! 
Ah, hold on there. Don't you point those things at me. Feel the... Or, face the other way. The other way! No, no. Let it loose. Ha <laughs> ha. You've got to be kidding me. It's funny because he's going to get real hurt. I'll secure him so he can't get away. We all hate Lombre, apparently. Ooh, not bad. What? You're serious? No, don't! <laughs> Evan. Gardevoir. You have everything to you, Evan and your friends. Peace is returned to our world. Thank you for everything. And now, Evan, your role here has ended. Soon you must return to your own world. It is time to bid farewell. It's finally come. The time's finally arrived. Evan, I am so sorry for this. To everyone, please bid farewell. Oh, Evan? Evan! Your body! What's happening to you? It's not my body, it's just that there's little floaty things beside me. Charmander. I haven't spoken to us yet. And everyone, I'm sorry, but I have to leave. What? Wh what are you saying? Everyone, thank you for everything all this time. Huh? Leave? What do you mean, leave? My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have to return to the human world. Unbelievable! Go back to the to the human world? Huh? Why? Why? I don't understand. Why do you have to leave? Duh, didn't we? Aren't we friends? Yes. We'll all, you'll always be my friend, Charmander. I'll never forget you. Don't don't go, Evan. I'm blessed to have met you. I... What am I gonna do when you're gone, Evan? I, I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. Evan! 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 <laughs> no! I like thematically how that's like the the first time we actually speak to the other characters instead of just thinking. Evan! Why? I don't understand! Why? Why was it necessary to leave us? Evan saved my life. But I hadn't done anything to show my thanks. Left. Before I could even say thanks. Well, you could have said thanks a lot, of, many times, but to be fair, you're cool, actually. I uh, like, uh, compared to the other characters. You're right. Just upped and went like that. Why now? Why, when the world's been saved? Just what? Just when things are going to get better? This was coming. Our world that was saved by Evan. I look back now. When bound for the sky, Evan seemed. As if resigned. Resigned to accept what, to, what was to come. I think I know. Evan must have... Uh, Evan must have become a Pokemon to save us. And when... When the star was destroyed, Evan knew that would be the time to leave. Why? Why didn't Evan tell me earlier? If this was coming, why didn't Evan tell me? Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you're heartbroken now, Evan must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand, Charmander. <laughs> Evan. What is this? I'm rising into the sky. Is this my spirit? I wonder where I'm going. Voices. I hear voices! Your
Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend. A friend for life. You finally realize it now. If you wish, and wish very strongly, perhaps you will meet again. Staff credits. Okay, so that's the guy who's speaking to us. Staff credits. Okay, no. Um, wow, that was uh, interesting. Um, so as I said earlier, I will be planning on playing the, uh, some parts after this. Well, maybe. I do want to, I want to do other games in the series, that is. This is definitely the most simple. Um, as you can see, um, on my save file, it was only about nine hours. So I totally only spent about ten hours on this game, not counting, uh, resets. But still, that's a pretty decent, um, that's kind of, you know, um, not all that long. Now, that being said, though, um, okay, so that's all the negatives out of the way. Um, I think this is a very unique series, uh, and this game is, uh, no exception. Um, it's definitely not for everybody, I understand. I'm not one of those people who will look at the reviews and be like, ah, uh, you know, these no-taste losers. They, uh, just don't understand the true game. To be fair, I am a bit skeptical when it doesn't look like they've completed the game, but, um, well, it, it you know, it, it's... I understand why people might say this gets repetitive, but, um... Especially since I do end up not having much to say eventually as we get through the dungeons, so... That's kind of how it goes. But th that being said, story is good. Um, even if it's not quite as good as the other games, in my opinion, this story is still pretty... Uh, I like it. I think it's cute. It's um, quaint. Uh, and... Um, it's, it's more of an interesting take. It's definitely not... Uh, it's not as difficult as, you know, other Mystery Dungeon games. Um... But, like, like in the, like, uh, non-Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, uh, but, uh, it's more difficult than the main series, so if you're looking, if Pokemon, I'll say this, if the main series has been, you know, kind of samey for you and you've been looking, maybe something a bit more challenging, something a little bit different, uh, take on the Pokemon formula, I think that this is a good game to at least consider. That being said, if you want to play one of the sequels, you don't necessarily... A story based on this was, you don't need to know much about uh, this game to uh, to enjoy the next ones. But probably good if you want to play it chronologically, like I do. I don't want to leave. I want to stay longer. With my invaluable... Irreplaceable friend. need to read that, but... The story of Evan and Charmander ends here. But Blue isn't done yet. There are many rescues to be done. A new adventure begins! So the story of Evan and Charmander has not ended, then. Well, I mean, kinda. The legendary Pokémon are set to make their appearance. Don't go away! Would you like to save your adventure? Absolutely. Save completed. So, um, again, that's all for, that, that's all for now. Um, I don't feel like, uh, I'm not gonna put another, uh, part of the after game in this episode. It's kinda defeats the pur purpose of a finale, but, um, I do wanna say I thank you for tuning into this LP, um, and, uh, well, I suck at outros, but I hope to see you next time.